Hi, this video will show you how to find the Z-transform of a sequence. To calculate the Z-transform, we need to refer to the Z-transform of some common functions. For example, we are interested to find the Z-transform of a power k, where a is a constant. This is required because of the first term, 0.2 power k. Since the z-transform of a power k is z over z minus a, therefore the z-transform of 0.2 power k is z over z minus 0.2. Therefore, the z-transform of 7 times 0.2 power k is equal to 7 times z over z minus 0.2. Now we move on to the second term, the z transform of sine 3k. First of all, from the formula table, z transform of sine a k is equal to z sine a over z squared minus 2z cosine a plus 1. Using this Z-transform formula, we know that Z-transform of sine 3k is equal to Z sine 3 over Z squared minus 2Z cosine 3 plus 1. Finally, we want to find the Z-transform of 0 0.1 raised to power k times the unit step sequence uk minus 1. Whenever the sequence involved with unit step sequence, you need second shift theorem, which say that Z transform of F K minus N U K minus N is equal to Z power minus N times Z transform of F K. Now we apply the second shift theorem to the Z transform of 0 0.1 with the power K U K minus 1. First, we try to change the k in the power of 0 0.1 to k minus 1. You can achieve this by rewriting this as 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 with power k minus 1 times u of k minus 1. Pull out 0 0.1, then you have that transform of 0 0.1 raised to power k minus 1, u k minus 1. Compare the second shift formula, you know that n is equal to 1. So f of k minus 1 is equal to 0 0.1 raised to power k minus 1. And so, f of k is 0 0.1 with the power k. According to the second shift theorem, this will give us z power minus 1 times the z transform of f k. And z transform of f k is z transform of 0 0.1 with the power k. According to the earlier formula, z transform of a power k is z over z minus a. Therefore, z transform of 0 0.1 with power k is z over z minus 0 0.1. Combining z power minus 1 and z, you get 0 0.1 over z minus 0.1. Therefore, the overall z transform of yk, which is the sum of the z transform of three terms, equal to, the first term is 7 times z over z minus 0.2, and the second term is z sine 3 over z squared minus 2z cosine 3 plus 1, 
and the third term is six times zero point one over z minus zero point one. This complete the answer for this question.